Son of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have still to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask a blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and because of everlasting life.
us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruit of your redemption, who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, remember how for 40 years, now the Lord your God has directed all your journey in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to you and to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless is not a participation in the blood of Christ. The bread that we break is not a participation in the body of Christ. Because of the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body. 
for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord of Zion, your salvation. Lord of hymns of exaltation. Christ your King and Shepherd true. Bring him all the praise you know. He is more than you bestow. Never you can reach his do. Special theme for glad thanksgiving is the quickening and the living. Bread today before you send from his hands of all partaken, as we know by faith and shaken, where the twelve had suffered men, fully clearing out your shanting. Join our sweetest grace be wanting from your heart, let praises burst. From today the feast is holding. When the institution olden of the supper was rehearsed, he the new laws, new donation by the new king's revelation and the forms of ancient rhyme. Now they knew the old phases, truth away the shadow chases, like the spells, the gloom of night. What he did at supper seated, Christ ordained to be repeated, his memorial near to cease, and his rule for guidance. To his flesh he turns To his flesh his blood the wine Sight is filled, no thought conceives But a dauntless faith believes Resting on a power divine He beneath these signs are written Presses things to sense forbidden Signs not things are all we see Blood is power and flesh is broken Yet in neither wander soaking Christ and time we know to be See how life participation is when all like issues arrive. When the sacrament is broken, down I believe to spoken. That is every hour talking, not to very old contain. That the precious gift divides, breaking by the bit of signs. Busy they all the signs he paid. Still the broken does remain. No the angels' food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which those dogs may not be spent. Should the ancient times fulfilling, Isaac bound the victim willing. Paschal lamb is life was spilling, manna to the father sent. Fairy bread, good shepherd, tend us. Jesus of your love, befriend us. You refresh us, you defend us, your eternal goodness send us. In the life of life to see, you all these can and know. Stone, grant us with your saints the lowest where this heavenly feast you show. Follow here and get to be. Amen. Hallelujah.
A reading from Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the Jew crowd, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give you is my flesh to live of the world, the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you. Unless you eat the flesh of the song and the song of the man and drink his blood, you do not have life without you. Whoever eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is a true drink. Whoever eat my flesh and drink my blood remains in me, and I am him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so also the one who eat, feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, unlike like your ancestors who eat and still die. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today is one more of the happy days because the Lord made today wonderful like every single day. But today we celebrate the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's the moment that we see how we can be united with God through Jesus. Because that's what God was planning for the beginning, to we be one with him. But ourselves to be far away from God, God decides to give the most precious love that he has, his son, so he can come and unite us with him. That's why Moses tried to remind today, remind Israel how important it is today. Remember, the, 40, the, the 40 years they was in the desert, the moment they was suffer in the desert, the how God gave us everything what they need, the food, the drink, that they never starving because God always was from there, from them and with them. Even when they don't understand that, even when they give it back to God, God always was there. And only Moses tried to tell them is, remember the commandments. Remember to be faithful to God always. Well, today is the day which Jesus, everything come, on, come back to reality. Because Jesus not only came to this world and be born and live and die for us, but also he gave himself in the moment of the fraction of the bread. Today, when the Father Chacon is putting the hands over the bread and wine, and the transcessions became in the moment that he said the prayers. If that bread is no more bread, that wine is no more wine. Is the body a blood of Christ who feed us to help us, us to continue forward, to help us to see how great the love is God because we be united with Jesus, to be one with Him as He is one with God, and we live in that peace with the Lord. That's why the second reading tells us it's one bread, it's one one, it's just one. One body, one blood. We're not giving many Jesus to the people. You're not receiving different Jesus, no. 
is one Jesus. All of us made the body of, of the blood and the Christ always as a church, as a brothers and sisters that we are. Those from home who's watching us today, those from the hospital they're still getting better, those that is far away from here, all of us united today in one mind, in one heart, in one spirit with Jesus Christ. To follow his commands, to love God over anything and our neighbors as ourselves. And with that, we're ready to come and receive the body of Christ. Even if we're not here, because we, we cannot come now, but we're receiving a spiritual, Jesus come to us because he want to be always in us. He want to be always unite us. He want to be always prepare us to we can go forward to see the reality that with Jesus we have no life. Because that's why the Jews don't understand. How this man going to give us his flesh? Had to be crazy. We know it, men. We know it, another flesh. What's wrong with this guy? And maybe the disciple was thinking too, what he talking about? But the Last Supper, and the Last Supper, they discovered what he was talking about. When Jesus took his bread, hand, the bread, Give it blessing. He break it. He give it to disciples. In the same word that Jesus say in that moment is the word that you can hear any priest today, even the Pope will say, because that's the reality. This bread became the body of Christ. In not just one portion, the whole bread. If we receive in the small particular the whole body of Christ. We are so lucky that we, and we don't comprehend how great is the love of God to us. The giving himself and that bread for us to we can continue with him all the time. Just God asks us, that's it. That we love him like him. So everything else, you know, first God. And second, our neighbors as ourselves. And that's why when, they, when Jesus did that moment and the Last Supper, if they understood, if they continue with this tradition, if we continue today, when it's not only a tradition, it's a reality, when Jesus is present in the altar, he came just for us. God made the things beautiful that he want to stay with us and sing in the form of, in form of bread to we can continue living and growing up in the love of him. To understand that our life have a purpose. To understand that we are here for a reason. If the reason is to love God, because God always loves us. God always is good, all the time. And all the time, God is good, because he's in there for us. In the beginning, he worried about us. And still, today, Looking through this pandemia, this virus, they not separate us, they unite us. They unite us. We start praying for home as a family. We go to the media to see everybody else. We even have time to talk to our relatives. We pray the rosaries. We pray the misericordia, the mercy of the Lord. We always try to be in contact with other ones, to grow in the faith of the Lord, because it's in there when you and us, we grow up in the God. And now today that Jesus come to us, not only physical, but also spiritual, we can see the joy and the happiness that we celebrate in, our, in Santa Rita, the great day of the Lord. The body and blood is life for us. The living bread who gonna keep me alive forever. Because our, stem, our body is a holy temple, the Holy Spirit. And the bread that we receive and the blood that we drink is the fruit who continue ourselves and the journey to God. 
Pope Francis say the, the Holy Communion is not only for saints. It is true. It's for all of us. We are not saints, but we are in the way to be saints. We have to learn to, after we confess, not to do the same thing. Try to avoid it. Try to continue forward. Yes, we get confessed many times that we, we, uh, in the, we, we, we make our sins. Yes, that's true. But also, we have to try to fight with our sins and to keep the body of life, the Christ, live in myself. Not today, every single day. For that, my brothers and sisters, we have to remember the words once again the Pope Francis say, if he is the body of Christ for everybody, we have the right to receive it. We have the right to stay with him. Even when we cannot receive it today physically, we receive it spiritual because the Lord is great. If Jesus knows better than we are, he knows you better than nobody else. He knows us. Thanks God. Thanks God. He thanks God because Jesus is always in there. He's going to continue for us until the end of the world. My brothers and sisters, today let's give it thanks to the Lord. And let's pray that this body and blood help us to go forward to serve and love God and one to another. Amen. Let us pray with the creed all together. I believe one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, through God from through God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with, with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has appeared to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for, for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the, of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now, with confidence, we present our intentions to the Lord. That the believers everywhere Seek the Eucharist with a great faith, reverence, and desire. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Amen. hear prayer. That the earth and the whole universe echo the beauty and the love of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Amen. hear prayer. That those who live life of loneliness and despair find comfort in the Eucharist, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For all of us are here, and those who are watching us, to they receive the blessing for the body of blood of Christ. It is strange to continue forward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear prayers. Prayers. May the petitions of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord. 
so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gift of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in, my, in mi misery in the offering we here present. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for at the Last Supper with his apostles, established, establishing for the ages 
to come the saving memorial of the cross. He offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by these sacred mysteries, you make them holy, so that he human race, the human race, bonded by one world, may be enlightened by the one faith, and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wonder, wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creation of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of and angels cried out, Without end, we acclaim. glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his, his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your, your Holy Spirit to sanctify this gift of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led throughout his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the word of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show for the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to, to us. And grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nicholas, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open your eyes to the needs of your brothers and sisters, inspiring in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve, serve them truly. After the example of Christ, and at his command, and may that your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ. And all, the dead, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your faith. And in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our early pilgrimage is done, that we may come to a, an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles, Martyrs, San Rita, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who are in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ mean us to everlasting life. For those who cannot receive, let's do now the spiritual communion. My Jesus, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot in this moment receive you. Since I cannot at this moment receive you. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And I unite myself all to you. And I unite myself all to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't be afraid, come as 
Santa Rita, so that way you can see us, see the singers, they're going to have nice music, religious music, and also to participate and help us, because that's a fundraiser for the parish. That way you can help us with something that you can deny us. That's going to be a great help. But the most important thing, that we have a moment with the Lord to sing, to sharing, to see how great it is to live one moment with the Lord singing to him. We're going to have uh, many different uh, singers, so you're going to be very nice. 
So remember just to be online, you know, activate uh, this Thursday at 7, 7 p.m., please. 7 p.m., we continue, and I uh, hope we can see you in there. Thank you, and God bless you. Now, uh, after the blessing, we continue with the adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. We invite all of you to participate in this adoration. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that chair in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our re reception of your precious blood and body, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord they be with you. And with, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Master sent. For those who have stayed a little while, so we can pray to the Lord and the Most Blessed Sacrament. Go to be with us today. Thank be to God. Jesús mío, que 
estás en el altar Oculto en la hostia Te vengo a adorar Oculto en la hostia Te vengo a adorar Bendito, bendito, bendito sea Dios Los ángeles cantan Y alaban a Dios Los ángeles This day that we celebrate the blood of Christ and the body, we give you thanks to the Lord for being his presence to comfort us, to guide us, and to be with us in every moment. In this day that we are celebrating the cuerpo and the sangre of Christ, in the Santísimo Sacrament of the Altar, we thank the Lord for giving us to be with us, and above all, giving us the comfort that we need. Te adoramos, Señor, te damos gracias por todo lo que haces por nosotros. Y te pedimos que sigas, Señor, muy cerca de nuestro corazón y que nunca te apartes de nosotros. Te necesitamos, Dios mío. No nos dejes, Señor Jesús. Estás siempre con nosotros en todo momento. We ask you, oh Lord, to always be with us. The guide us, and please, never keep us for your heart. Always keep us closer so we can continue forward serving you, loving you, and the others, as you want us to do. Thank you for being present. Thank you for being here. Thank you for love us. Amen.
Him wherever you need. Don't be afraid. Talk to him. He wanna talk to you back. Vamos a estar aquí un rato más con el Señor. Y háblenle, no tengan pena. Él quiere hablarte a ti también. So let's open our mind, our heart, and let's listen to the Lord when we ask things to him. Abramos nuestra mente y nuestro corazón cuando escuchemos al Señor. Cada vez que le pidamos cosas, porque Él nos va a responder. Because he answers us, because he's leaf and he's here for you.
Más importante en este lugar, Señor, tú eres el más importante en este lugar, Rey de Reyes, Señor de Señores. Señores, aquel que mi vida cambió. Jesús, tú eres el más importante en este lugar. Jesús, tú eres. El único importante en este lugar, Rey de Reyes, Señor de Señores, aquel que mi vida cambió, Rey de Reyes, Señor de Señores. Cristo tú eres el más importante en este lugar Jesucristo tú eres el único importante en este lugar Rey de Reyes, Señor de Señor cambió Rey de Reyes Señor de Señores aquel que mi vida cambió Rey de Reyes Señor de Señores aquel que mi vida cambió Rey de Reyes, Señor de Señores, aquel que mi vida cambió. Rey de Reyes, Señor de Señores, aquel que mi vida cambió. Rey de Reyes, Señor de Señores.
My King, my Lord, you change our life. To change everything for ourselves. To help us to we became more and more like you. Because you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of the Lords. You are the most highest Jesus Christ who came from heaven just from us so we can be with you and with the Father always. Thank you for your present Lord once again. But thank you Lord because all of us here today and those who is watching you receive your presence Lord and feel the power that came from you to us. So we can continue to this pandemia forward. Look forward always with happiness and with joy because we not alone. You are with us. Gracias, Señor, por ser Rey de Reyes, Señor de Señores, y estar aquí con nosotros una vez más. Porque tú siempre nos das la fuerza que necesitamos, Señor. Tú eres el pan que ha bajado del cielo y está con nosotros, Señor, para así unirnos con tu Dios, con nuestro Dios, con nuestro Creador. Te damos gracias, Señor, porque a través de esta pandemia tú nos unes más todavía. Y ahí los que están viendo de casa, Señor, reciben tu bendición y tu poder. Porque tú nos quieres dar, Señor, esa fuerza para continuar adelante y seguir siempre unidos a ti. Gracias, Señor.
todo lo que respire alabe a Dios todo ser que tenga vida alabe a Dios porque solo el estilo de adoración y debemos de alabarlo de corazón solo y triste alábalo si al caminar tu desmaya alábalo en las pruebas de tu vida alábalo en la alegría y el gozo alábalo ¿Has pensado alguna vez lo grande y hermoso que es recibir a Jesucristo en un pedazo de pan? Quizás tú nunca Imaginaste que en ese pedazo de pan está el cuerpo de Cristo queriéndote salvar.
sobre el altar. Juan capítulo 6, versículo 51 en adelante, dice, Yo soy el pan bajado del cielo. El que coma de este pan vivirá para siempre. ¿Has pensado alguna vez lo grande y hermoso que es recibir a Jesucristo en un pedazo de pan? Quizás tú nunca Imaginaste que en ese pedazo de pan está el cuerpo de Cristo queriéndote salvar. nueva en Jesús Él me acompaña siempre con su luz Aún en la situación más difícil de tu vida, todo tiene una salida a tu preocupación si el pecado te domina, no lo pienses más, ríndete a él. Ya verás Ríndete a sus pies Confía en Jesús
Jesús Espera siempre en Él No serás desfraudado Nunca jamás Por su gran misericordia Te perdonará solo a ti Señor amar de solo a ti Señor amar de solo a ti Señor y no mirar atrás seguir Seguir sin desmayar, Señor, postrado ante tu altar, Señor, y no mirar atrás. Seguir tu caminar, Señor, seguir sin desmayar. Ante tu altar, 
¿Has pensado alguna vez lo grande y hermoso que es recibir a Jesucristo en un pedazo de pan? Quizás tú nunca imaginaste que en ese pedazo de pan está el cuerpo de Cristo queriéndote salvar. Los ángeles caen. 